Inside the Linwood High School gymnasium, about 300 students filled the room learning from each other's research on this year's presidential candidates, ballot measures, and props. For some students like Christopher Villanueva, it's helping him realize the issues that are important to him as a soon-to-be first-time voter. I feel like we need more help in our communities. There's been a lot of homeless issues and housing issues in California recently. So I feel like with this election, there could be a lot of things we can improve. And for Jasmine Garcia, who also plans to vote, she's focused on the next presidential candidate and what it will mean for her future. I want to choose a candidate that will help me in college. Like when I when I grow up, I want to like have my own like I want to be a homeowner and I just, you know, I got to want to live at home with my parents. Early polling from the Center for Information and Research on Civic Learning and Engagement from Tufts University found that in 2024, Gen Z youth will make up nearly one-fifth of eligible voters. 57% of youth ages 18 to 34 reported to be extremely likely to vote in the election, with inflation, cost of living, gun violence, and climate change listed as top issues. Alexa Gonzalez says politics is new territory for her, but she is sure of one thing. She says she plans to vote. As teenagers, we feel like, oh, it's just an election, you know, but now that you step out in the real world, it's like we need to make a difference. The presentations were part of an AP government class Claudia Alfaro teaches. She says students are encouraged to look beyond social media and find information through campaign, government websites, and debates. All this politics that is going on is affecting their daily lives, the groceries they buy, you know, it's affecting their families. So it's really crucial for them to be informed, especially at this young age. Information that Alexa says she doesn't trust social media for. There's things that are not as accurate, you know, so I tend to not really pay attention to those stuff and I more like do my research on my own. Jasmine says she's still doing her research. I feel like if I don't vote then I don't I don't have a choice for my future or like I feel like I'm making someone else choose my future if I don't vote. While Christopher says he's making his decision based on what he sees. She try to judge my perception on who the candidate is, should I vote for them, the props, and all that. Especially on TV too, I see the props, I see the issues. First-time voters strategizing their vote with their future in mind.